All right, you guys, we're back with another guide video, and this week is for the best possible team for Akumu Hard. Uh, this is the Dairy Team. Uh, now, it does require some odd gear, but what we're going to use here for artifact set is I like to use this set that, or you can use the set that heals you when you take damage if you needed to, if you were taking too much. But as you can see, I like to run attack food um, for gear. Uh, HP defense on Gother, you do need C-rank gear on the top. Same thing for Easton. And then for Alight, she is a little different. She needs triple defense with C-rank at top. And the middle pieces need to be resistance rolls. And then you need to have Tarmiel with triple defense as her link. Or somebody with triple defense as her link. And then, as you can see, attack crit on Derry with uh, Sariel link. But, yeah, basically you need a lot to patience the ult drain. So maybe if yours is not doing it with that, you may need to use resistance food. You just have to play around and see. But, yeah, uh, so if you can do this, this is the best way to do it. But anyways, what you want to do turn one is not use any dairy cards or any buff cards at all. Because that guy on the right hand side will use a card what's called Over Rupture, which is 10 times damage to a buffed enemy, on turn 3, and he will just kill you. So what you want to do is you want to just use the Alight cards and then the non-buff cards, and you want to start building up a Alight passive and get her ult for the turn after he uses uh, the Over Rupture, which would be turn 4. So as you can see here, we did draw two more lat cards. That's very good. Um, so what we're going to do here is just move the lat card. Use one of them, and then we'll just pumpkin bomb. I didn't want her ult in my hand just yet. Uh, I don't want it in my hand until turn four. So instead of moving it and using them both. And there we go. That allowed us to draw another lat card, so that's really nice. Now, I'm actually not going to use an Alak card at all here this turn. I'm just going to merge those Dairy buffs. Because I can use those cards to start building up her ult after we get this ult. But as you can see there, we've got a couple stacks of her passive, which increases your crit damage. And there's the over rupture he's about to use. So here I'm just going to do this, and I'm just going to move these Dairy cards. Maybe that Alak card. Yeah, just, you know, I think it'd be better to ult with a lot than use those cards so I can save them to start building up her ult after this one. Because we'll need her ult multiple times through this battle. But now that the over rupture is done, we can ult with a lot. We can get rid of some dairy cards, or actually we'll get rid of both of these light cards first. Okay, now everybody should patience his ult drain. We're getting Lat's passive stacked up nice and neat. Okay, got very good draw there. We're going to save that level 2 for the next time that that guy uses the over rupture. Because once you have a Lat's ult active and the extra defense related to stats, and then you use a level 2 buff from Dury, your Dury can survive that over rupture. So, you just have to keep an eye out for when that right hand is attacking. Here, we're going to do this, this, and this. Now, we're very close to having a Lat ult again for when her ult runs out. And I believe we're close to Dury ult. Yeah. Okay, perfect. We drew even more lat cards. We drew another Easton buff. Now we just need some rank ups. <clears throat> so, okay. You can see here, he's going to use over rupture now. So, we're going to go ahead and do the level 2 buff. We're going to use, merge these like this, and then use this here, so we don't get a merger on that other lack card. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. Or 
here. Let's see here. If I do this, that, that, and just move this dairy card for now because I kind of want to save it in case I don't draw another. If you can, try not to use multiple dairy cards in a turn just because you don't know if you're going to draw another one. Unless you just have a whole handful of them. But as you can see, with the lights ult and the level 2 buff, we were able to survive it, but just barely. So, okay, a lights ult is going to run out next turn, so we're going to go ahead and use it now. We will go ahead and ult this guy on the left. We'll go ahead and throw that. And then this. Save that dairy card for next turn. Now we need to draw some rank ups and we need to draw another Alight debuff card. The one that uh, lowers crit resistance and crit defense. Okay. Uh, good luck on the dairy hand. We can get dairy's ult pretty easy now. Uh, which is very good. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Let's save that other dairy card. No. I'm going to use this and do this. I'm trying to decide here what's best. I think this is my best choice. And we can just throw this a light card. Yeah. Okay, now the middle guy's invincible for one turn. So we kind of have one turn to stall here. We need to get Dairy Ult. Okay, we did draw another rank up, so that's good. Now we really need to draw another rank up and then the crit resistance card. So, do this. To make sure we keep a light old. We'll dairy buff and then we'll just rank up Gother. We may have to do this without that crit resistance card. Because we're running out of time to stall. <sighs> we didn't draw at that turn. We did draw another rank up though. So maybe possibly we can make this happen. No. Maybe a level 2. Because we have to rank up at least once here. To do the level 3 dairy buff. And then. Actually let's toss this eastern card. Before we get all these buffs. So we can do this. That. And then. A lat ult. Yeah. Typically you want to have that thing in hand. And it needs to be a level 3. You need a level 3 dairy buff. A level 3 eastern buff. And a level 3. A lat debuff card but we just don't seem to want to draw it here and we still didn't draw it but we can't stall anymore if i do the dairy attack it'll just kill him so we're gonna have to ult here so for point sake we'll go ahead and do this because that will give us another stack of gother relic we use a level three debuff for the points And then Easton buff and ult and hope dairy crits. She did 14k. Yeah, we could have done a whole lot more, like 18 to 20k. Uh, but 4.998, not bad. Um, like I said, typically you want that a light debuff card, but you know sometimes just you got to do what you got to do. But yeah, there you have it, you guys. Uh, if you can.